Hi, I'm Jennifer with Holland Hospital. Someone in the United States experiences stroke every 40 seconds. I have Dr. Sundip Katari here with me. He's a part of the Holland Hospital Stroke Program. Dr. Katari, just tell us a little bit about your role here at the hospital. So I am both the medical director of the emergency room and also of the stroke program here at the hospital. Wonderful, and obviously being a big part of the emergency department and our stroke program, you deal with stroke probably on a regular basis. Just talk to us a little bit about what stroke is and who may be most at risk of experiencing stroke. So um, I will start with the stroke and what is a stroke. So there's two different types of strokes. There is a what we call a hemorrhagic stroke, which is a bleeding type of stroke in the brain. And then there is the blood clot type that usually gets lodged from some part from the heart up into the brain. Okay. And now are there, is there a certain type of person or maybe someone that has a, a certain lifestyle that may be more apt to experiencing a stroke? Yeah, so obviously we normally consider stroke in people that are elderly, but there are cases of even young people and children and young adults having strokes. Um, but typically, you know, people, smokers, high blood pressure, diabetes, put you at a little bit higher risk of having stroke. Okay. I know we, we talk about stroke or you're he you hear about it. Are there any signs or symptoms? Will you know if maybe you're about to experience stroke or maybe someone that's around you, a loved one that you're with, uh, might be going through a stroke? Are there some symptoms of that? Yeah, we like to, since strokes can kind of come in all shapes and sizes, the American Stroke Association, American Heart Association, have come up with a mnemonic called Be Fast, okay. which is a good way to kind of break down um, the signs and symptoms. So the B stands for balance. So anybody that may be experiencing trouble walking because they're feeling unsteady or even dizziness um, is one of the signs and symptoms of stroke. The E in BFAST stands for eyes, so any type of loss of vision or double vision is something that be concerned of for stroke also. Um, most people are familiar with the F, which stands for face, and that's where there's sudden drooping on one side of the face. A stands for arms, which is basically weakness on one side of your body. So we have patients basically hold their arms up, and if one starts to drift down, that's a sign of a stroke. S is for speech, which means if the patient's speech is suddenly slurred or nonsensical speak, like you just don't understand what they're talking about, those are signs and symptoms of a stroke also. And lastly is T is for time. You know, time is of the essence in treating strokes. Um, and calling 911 right away to get in to see a medical professional, not waiting to wait for some family member to drive you to the hospital or calling your primary care doctor. It's very important to get right into the emergency room. I know time is something that we've, we've been talking a lot about, about making sure you call 911. Kind of talk about the pros of actually dialing 911 and not driving yourself to the hospital in a situation like that. Some people will say, well, I only live five minutes away from the hospital. I can get there maybe quite quicker than the uh, ambulance can get me there. But one of the things is, is that when the paramedics arrive, um, there are several things that they start initiating right from the time that they hit your door. Um, checking blood sugars, vital signs, and getting vital information like your patient's weight that they can then radio to us and we can get everything actually rolling and getting medications drawn up specific for that patient and their weight even before they arrive. Wonderful. Talk about are there ways to prevent stroke? Are there certain things or, or lifestyle changes that you can do and maybe you're at risk of stroke that, that you can do to kind of help yourself from experiencing a stroke? Yeah, probably one of the most important things for anybody in any disease process is making sure you get your annual checkups with your doctor and taking the medications that you're prescribed are two of the probably the biggest things. Obviously, you know, some daily exercise um, and uh, a healthy diet, you know, obviously increase um, your healthy lifestyle and decrease your risk of stroke. To learn more about stroke and the services we offer here at Holland Hospital, visit hollandhospital.org stroke.